Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider Anniversary. We are going to continue our uh, game at the entrance to the Temple of Qualopec pretty soon. Uh, I wanted to quickly check here. Um, outfits, actually. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Now I remember. I had this unlocked before, of course. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, I guess that must be the exact model from Tomb Raider 1. It, which is fine, except for the face. That is not fine. So, nostalgia, uh, you know, is a nice thing, but this model is not. So let's go with the updated one. Why don't we? Um, yeah, we can look at these once again. I'm not sure why they are not in the order of, uh, of the levels, but I don't know. Maybe the newest one is always going to be on top or something. Music. Huh, main theme. I mean, it's funny because there really isn't much music going on. I'm not sure if that's... I've noticed some some graphical glitches, yeah, like the the flashing belt buckle there and some other minor things. I don't know if there's supposed to be music. It's I don't know. In the levels themselves, there is um, they're supposed to be more atmospheric than anything. So there's not a whole lot of in-game music, at least not as far as I remember. So I think that's intentional. There's a note to the fans here from Jason Botta, I think. I cannot scroll this smoothly. Yeah, creative director. I don't think he really worked on the original games at all. Um, whoever had the rights to the series gave the, uh, the development of these newer games to a different studio altogether um, after the disastrous Tomb Raider 6, which is kind of understandable. And I think they did a great job, So, especially with this one. I'm quite enjoying it. Anyway, uh, let's resume the game. We're not going to look into that uh, Croft Manor quite yet. This should be right here, yeah, right past the waterfall cavern. And I'm going to take a look. Yeah, let's, okay, so it looks like it's like this uh, sub-level might not be super long with only two artifacts, no relics, but this is going to be blind, as I said, except for maybe some things that I might remember or recognize from the original game, but I, I doubt that I'm going to recognize much at all. I mean, some setups, some rooms in the in this, these first three sub-levels were iconic enough that I definitely recognize them, but, I mean, not only has it been a while, but it's also quite different, you know, visually and level design-wise with all these new elements. So, obviously, there were no... Yes. There were no pole jumps, no pole swings in the original game. Did you just jump up here? Yes, of course. No big deal. Is there anything down there? Or is this... I feel inclined to just look around down here, even though I know this is just this is probably just a, a way to recover yourself if you mess up this very easy sequence of jumps. I mean, it's yeah, okay, that's all there is. You never know. Also, yeah, that that happens sometimes. I don't know what causes that. It's not a frame rate issue at all. Like this weird stuttering that sometimes happens. I've actually noticed that whenever. Where was that? Like when I back out of this, for example. Yeah, there's always this weird after image effect, right? Whenever I leave this, there's like two different character models overlapping for a frame or so. It looks kind of strange. But the frame rate is completely stable here, so... Oh, okay. Not sure why she didn't land properly after the first jump there. Normally, when jumping to a pool the first time, it tends to be fine, just the second pole is when she normally staggers. Okay, just making sure... As I said, it's blind, so I'm going to take a little bit more time probably to actually look around. Oh, hi. Yeah. Exactly, this is how I remember music being used. Or to accentuate certain major discoveries and, you know... Oh, okay, there are some... Are those pushable thingies? Hmm. No, that's more like a pillar. Maybe they do look pushable, though. We'll see. We can definitely climb up here. Is that a huge stone ball that's waiting to crush me? Yep, sure enough. Nice try, game. I mean, that's, that was a little bit too obvious. And that closes. Wow, okay. Three whole gates. Oh, and this did break. Ah, yes. 
Now it looks much more pushable than it was before. This did not break, though, interestingly. Also, maybe I should have paid attention to where the ball actually went. I suppose it... I don't know, did it just break? Huh. So what's up with that? That's some, some kind of... Oh, okay. Some kind of gong, almost. And up there we can swing. All right. Technically there's something over there, but... Uh, well, I get, suppose if I push that thing over to create a platform, that might be enough to bridge the gap. But it seems like there's another one down here that is probably still going to be stuck. Yeah, okay. All right. It's probably going to be a matter of pushing a bunch of... Can we just... Wait, what was that? Why was there an action symbol? What was that? Hello? No, that's not the button I meant to press. Huh. Ouch. Okay, took basically no damage though. Huh? Okay. What are you trying to tell me here? Hmm, who knows? Wasn't there? Okay. Well, it's, it's crazy. Items are so much more shiny from far away, but when you're actually on top of them, they're extremely hard to see, I think, anyway. But uh, that's okay. So, yeah, anyway, this is... Should still be stuck, I wonder. Yeah, okay. Obviously, we cannot move that. And this here is... Okay, that's pushable. Although by itself, that doesn't seem like it would do much. Well, we can definitely push this one, even though, you know, realistically, this would also be very, very hard to move. <laughs> unless it's like... Oh, no. Huh? Oh, okay. It's stuck there. That's... uh. Okay. Yeah, unless the, the ground is extremely slippery and well lubricated, basically, as well as the platform itself. This should not really work. Okay, we have to... If we want to have a chance at cross, crossing this gap here, it has to be more like this. That's about the middle. It looks, still looks a bit far, but I mean... Oh, and we'll have to use this block over here. Gotcha. To even be able to get out. Not. I'm gonna check one more time if there is anything else we can maybe use that block to climb up to some kind of ledge with a secret, but I'm not actually seeing anything. Nope. All right. And at least we can okay, we have to climb a little bit to the side here. At least it's relatively easy to come back out. But yeah, is this gonna be far enough? Probably. Yeah. There's gotta be something though. Oh, nothing off to the, these sides here. Somehow we'll have to get onto that platform. There is that pole we can definitely climb, but hmm. Maybe I'll need to I need to look around a bit more. Maybe actually huh. I wonder what would Oh maybe maybe if if I swing into that gong, it's actually going to fall and crash that platform there, freeing the other pole. Actually, you maybe need to do that. This is this looks too far, actually, to make. I mean, I'm going to try it. I'm probably going to... I'm definitely going to fall. Yeah, that's too far. Okay. Oh, hey. I saved myself. That's great. So, what's probably going on is that there is a way to climb up and reach that swinging grappling point. There are poles on either sides. Oh, there's something to climb. Wait, though. I have to... Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. So I think... If I push that platform to the other side, all the way to that side... Why is there a ledge to... To grab there. As I fail to actually grab it. Who knows? Okay, so I'll have to push it all the way over and use this... This pillar to reach um, this platforms off to the side there. Should have looked around first with a, rather than just assuming. Oh, it's also kind of annoying that. Oh my god. Yeah, move, moving this thing is kind of awkward. It's not entirely tank controls. You do have some sideways um, room 
can move it slightly sideways, rather, when you're actually when you're pushing it forward. Which, you know, in this case allows you to get stuck on corners up up there that you can't even see. It's a little bit awkward, but that's okay. It should hopefully be fine. Now there wasn't anything that I saw on the other side. But yeah, that should work. Looks like it's gonna work. Alright. Maybe we'll see something oops, something interesting from up here. So we can definitely make it here. No problem. Then up here. Over there. Alright. Yes. I could, actually, I can already grapple onto the thing from here. But I might as well climb all the way up. So there it is. Can we? Oh, we totally can't shoot that. Yep, all right. No swinging necessary. That freed up the second platform. All right. Now, why do we want to swing across here? Oh, we can... Oh, I didn't even see that. Is this going to be okay? Yes, <laughs> apparently. That is one switch. Actually, we might probably... Yeah, we probably need to pull three switches total. That makes sense. One on each side and this one. So... Good thing I was curious. And that's safe enough. Alright, great. Now, I guess we'll start on this, on this side here. I'm gonna play it a little bit safe. It should already be fine to drop down to without taking damage, but yeah. better safe than sorry. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll, unfortunately we'll have to move this all the way over. Can't go through here, right? Um, no. That won't work. Should I try? It's definitely not going to work, though. In fact, uh, there is some room upstairs to get through. Oh. This is a little bit awkward. Just going to get stuck here, right? Yeah. Of course. Okay. Well, this is going to take a little moment. Oh, yeah, okay. You have to make sure that you are completely stopped, otherwise she's not going to just turn it. Also, movement is uh, with a, an analog stick, so it's not super precise the way a D-pad would be. Right, and here. This should not be super tight with two of these. That is definitely close enough. Yeah. You just have to put them roughly on the same side and it should be easy enough to jump from one to the other, like so. Right, just making sure that should be doable. Actually, let me make sure that it's actually... I keep saying actually a lot, don't I? Let's make sure that it's not too much at an angle. That should be fine. Can definitely at least grab the latch, but even that works. Alright, awesome. Finally made it here. Yeah, again. Doesn't look like there's there are any secrets hiding in this first room. There's something there. Thanks for the checkpoint, it's appreciated. Huh, yeah, I must be full on ammo. I don't remember that being an issue in the original game. Oh boy, this is going to be some timing, huh? Okay, that worked, somehow. Alright, and I don't have to worry about checking down there, because that looks like death. It definitely seems like it's too deep to survive. Also, um, game audio seemed fine on my first couple of videos. Just, uh... Just right now it sounded a little bit loud on my end. Alright, this should be doable. Okay, I wonder if it actually knocks you out of the air. Probably not though. Hmm, wait. Oh. Tricky, tricky. Wasn't probably supposed to be tricky in the first place, but... 
Okay, uh, here we actually just jump over, right? This is, yeah. I think. Why is she wiggling like that when I'm holding to the right? <laughs> is that. Okay. Uh -huh -huh. Okay, that works. I'm not sure why that needs to be a letter. It's not like you can really climb anywhere else from there. Constantly trying to look around and spot any additional ledges that might lead to secrets. Okay. There is another ledge below me, but I think I should be fine just doing this, right? Yeah. Maybe f this is for returning. Maybe when you return, she's going to jump to the lower ledge. I suppose we will have to travel back through here. Back to the main room. Give me all of those. And more checkpoints. Constantly expecting some kind of deadly trap. This looks suspicious, for example. That looks like it's gonna close. Or crush down on me. Right? This is some sort of some sort of gate that's waiting to close. Are there no arrows here? Suspicious. Okay, interesting. Alright. Again, the first one's not doing anything. Huh. Well, they're probably gon all gonna be active on the way out. That's the only thing that makes sense. Okay, next big room. Um, what are the odds of there being a secret in either of the two side rooms that lead up to the switch? Actually, I see the switch already. Can I? Apparently not. Okay, that works. Um, or not. That works. Okay, but I can definitely not make it over there, so I'll have to... Grab that pole, jump to that pole up there, and um, that should be it. Seems easy enough. Is there anything hiding down there? I don't see anything. Hmm. Oops. I could jump to that pole, maybe? Hmm. Let's try the obvious thing first. Okay. Um, maybe I needed to climb some higher, a little bit higher. Um, okay, that was a bit awkward. Not sure why she landed so so oddly. What is this? This looks... I don't know. Is this even the pole that you can climb? It totally is. But I don't think there's anything you can climb to from here. Nope. Does not seem like it. Can jump over there. Okay, well... It's interesting that the that they made that whole climbable in the first place. And it's clearly not somewhere you're meant to go. So now I'm as high as you can be. Okay. It's um, a little bit awkward because the camera doesn't have room to be exactly behind me for this jump. Normally you just hold in the direction you want to jump and she's gonna jump there and I mean Okay. Hey, maybe if I do it like this? That she just doesn't want to grab that pole. Am I doing something wrong? It's, looks like the only way, the only thing that makes sense. Can't really swing anywhere else from here. There we go. Okay. Well, it was just a matter of getting the right angle, I suppose. And confidently jumping. That's one of my bigger issues. Okay. Some of that ammo. Obviously not full on that. And I, once again, I cannot see any kind of secret, but there might be something in the other room, on the other side, and there obviously might be more things past the big gate. Right, just making sure I'm not missing anything in a dark corner somewhere. No. 
And are they now all active? It actually looks that way, yes. Oh boy. That was close. Ish. I kind of miss the, the ability to very carefully walk by holding down a, a walk button. I mean, this kind of works. Probably not even as difficult or dangerous as I make it out to be. Okay, safe for now. Pendulums, of course. That is what it looked like. Like, there could be that kind of crap. How much room is there between the arrows and the pendulum? A little bit. These are still not active? Okay, fine by me. Oh, this is kind of close. Not actually too close, though. All right. You what now? A raptor in here. Are you... Okay, I tried. Rolling to the side, for the record. Okay. So far, so good. Mm-hmm. That was a little bit... Close, maybe. Okay, now she jumps to the correct ledge immediately. Maybe it's just to give you some extra leeway. Okay, and there really isn't anything here, huh? Anything below? No. Okay, can we. No? How do you backwards jump from a ladder? Maybe you just jump? I hope that's how it works. Okay, yeah, you don't have, have to hold any kind of direction there. Alright, once again, we bypass that one safely. Go up here. Is that gonna... Where do I need to go? Can I jump to the ledge to the right of me here, or is that too high up? Or do I cross and jump to that one? Okay, that works. Maybe the other one would have worked too. That looks to be slightly higher, so maybe that was the correct way, the only correct way to do it. <gasps> okay, that was lucky. I guess I could have used the shotgun to probably take out that raptor a bit faster. I should probably give it a try sometime, because there seems to be a decent amount of extra ammo lying around. Okay, well, that was interesting. <clears throat> oh, right, that's not a ledge you can grab. You know what? Sure, I'll take one medikit here. If only to stop the heartbeat sound. Annoying low health sound. Not quite as bad as the, <laughs> the annoying Zelda beeping, but, you know, definitely tends to get on my nerves. All right, uh, where do we actually want to go? All right. Um... Let's maneuver a bit more carefully. This should be fine. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, that's actually as far as it goes. Okay. And one final time all the way over. I'm slightly worried that I have not even seen one secret yet, or really any kind of hidden item. I guess I'm not going to worry too much about it. Actually, is this supposed to be an indicator? The bright spot on the ground here? Oh, that's way too close. Never mind. In fact, I think I can even closer to the other pole. Should be fine. Again, it's not particularly tight, but you know, I'd rather not have to climb back down and readjust. Okay, not sure why she jumped at such a weird angle there, but that's okay. Yeah, nothing on these sides here. 
Alrighty. Hopefully we won't have any blow darts on this side. I don't know. We totally do. Never mind. Okay. Um. What? Oh, interesting. Huh. I didn't even look down here. I suppose I should have. Well, that was extremely lucky. Should I? I'm gonna use a small medikit again, just to prevent any danger of immediate dying. Or immediate danger of dying, I should say. Huh. I... Uh, yeah, I guess if I... If I had looked down here with these poles visibly anchored on solid ground. But seriously, though... Oh, wait. Are you supposed to jump up there from the pole? Oh, I guess that would work, huh? Probably? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Fair enough. Should have looked around a bit more. But, you know, um, luckily, that's not doing that led me to a secret. So it's all good. And there's the next switch. Just like that. Out in the open. No trap, no platforming. What's going on here? <laughs> There's something up there. What now? What was that? <laughs> what was that? Why is there a ledge here? Is the ground gonna collapse? Uh oh. That must be it, right? That's the only thing that makes sense. Hmm, I mean... Really? Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you please... Oh. I trust the wolves? Oh no, they can't come up here. Oh my god. Can you drop down though? Ha, maybe you can. Jesus. Okay, that was great. <clears throat> I mean, you know, technically, I should have been able to grab that that switch as the ground was collapsing. So it was pretty obvious what was going to happen, but the game obviously had other plans. Excuse me. Hmm. All right. We'll do some jumping. Where do we start? Where's the access point? Can you climb up here now? Oh, you can, kind of? Oh, no. It's definitely not what you're supposed to do. Alright. I had to check. And I'm assuming that on one of those one of those sides and one of those alcoves up there. That's where, where the secret's gonna be. That's not okay. That's too far apparently. So again, where am I supposed to jump? Not up there. That's I guess not a ledge I can grab. That would be too high. Yeah, we have to jump across from there. Okay. So it looks like we'll have to start from that pillar. Uh, is there a pushable block? That would allow me to get to that smaller ledge. It looks like I need to start from there and then jump across, jump to there, and then up. Um, can't shoot anything down. Huh. Obviously, I can't just find this. Okay, what am I missing? It's really weird that there isn't something to just jump onto from the side. Okay. There it is. Nothing hiding in there? Nope. Nope. 
Bit to push it and there we go. Um, I guess because uh, it was still turning when she was standing on it. All right, there we go. The rest should be pretty straightforward, but we'll see. Okay, just barely missed that angle and didn't make the jump. Great. Make sure I'm at the top. Look directly at that pole. There we go. Checkpoint. Hmm, not sure now if I. If there is a way to get over on that side. I also don't see anything up there. But there must be something on the other side, though. That is definitely climbable. Um, that being said, do I jump. Oh, actually. I just got a checkpoint. Okay, you can do up here. And there is the secret. Nice. All right. And hopefully I can uh, actually... Maybe I can make it to that pole. Can I get from one pole to the other? To the other there? Maybe they're not further apart than the others, than the ones downstairs, actually. Nope, that's too far and she's dead. Okay, cool. Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah. That puts us here. Oh, we know that the secret is up there. I wonder. We should be able to make it to the pole from there, so maybe that's how we do it. To do it all in one go. Oh, the secret is actually still collected. Right. Well, that's even better. Okay, let's see if we can make that. That looks too far, but, you know. Uh, I guess, once again, that's a, a matter of Aiming for the for the pole very carefully. Thankfully, we we start right here. Hmm. Or I could. Oh, you know what? I just jump to the freaking lever. That's all there is. That makes more sense. And now we can jump to the pole from there. Right? Yep. Oh, all right. We have to. over there and now we can climb up here and this is just a way to get back oh there's also some ammo there no uh, yes oh that's more shotgun ammo all right okay you know what if there's some kind of creature coming up Did I get it? Oh, oh my. It's taking surprisingly many shots. Also, oh, I was out of ammo. Rather, I had to reload. Hmm, that took a lot of bullets. Because I guess, uh, well, the first shot was kind of wasted because it was out of range, but. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I kind of like the, the pistols. You know, they're fast and. Easy to use. I don't need to worry about running out of ammo or wasting ammo. What now? Oh. Make sure you don't fall, huh? I wasn't planning to, but I guess if I needed any extra incentive. There it is. And now... Oh, you know what? <laughs> Hi there. Maybe you need to go down? Although, this should work, right? Yep, easy enough. Actually, screw you, Rifter. Okay, that took a lot of shots, but, you know. Seriously, though, I, I did it a favor, because the alternative would have been it slowly starving to death down there. So I doubt that anyone's going to visit anytime soon. Hey, I mean, we got the secrets, so that might just be the end of the level. Let's see here. Yep, five kills, five supplies, two of two artifacts. All right, let's see. Surprise, second boulder. Not right away, anyway. Okay.
Ooh. What is this? Is this what we came for? Oh, that is the uh, Skion of Atlantis, was it? Oh. That there in the background looks kind of ominous. Mm hmm. That would be Mr. Qualopak, presumably. Red glowing eyes. I'm sure they mean the God nothing. King Qualipec, one of the triumvirate, keepers of the three pieces of the skill, three diviners pieces? of its knowledge, sacred rulers of Atlantis. Um. Oh my God. Of course, it just collapsed from old age. And that sound was just trapped air escaping. Sure, there is nothing to worry about at all. Also, the fact that that artifact is just, you know, floating in midair. No big deal. Oh, hey, you actually are alive? Question mark? Huh. Well, crap. Escape sequence. Initiate. I was kind of hoping for the level to just be over, but nope. No such luck. Is there going to be another boulder? No? Also, awkward silence, kind of? Oh boy. What is it now? Where is it? Oh, down there. I, mean, I don't know if there is an actual time limit. to be super safe here. Okay. Sorry, little guy, but, you know. You know how it is. Um, that's exactly how it is. Great. Uh, I mean, I suppose that works. Since all of these traps are pretty much designed to bring me back to the side where I started from. Not gonna have to go all the way back out though, right? That's gonna take him quite some time. Okay. Yeah, don't go down there though? No. Oh. Hey, buddy. You're friendly, right? I'd love to join you, but I forgot my trucks. Why am I not so Oh, so did I, but you got didn't stop me. Job, I got mine. I'll take it from here. I hope Natla sent you here with more than that shotgun. Don't sweat it, kitten. I prefer a more hands-on approach. Boss fight? Actually? Well, first of all, good old quick time event. Works for me. If it ends with him being dead. No! You jerk. Now what? Okay. This is only one piece of the ski on. Where's the rest of it? Give me a minute. I'm thinking. Uh, Woohoo! Makes no difference to me. Oh, Pierre's well, probably already case. found his piece. Pierre Dupont? Where? Now that, I don't know. Well, in that case, you can just shoot him. All right. I'm convinced. Really? I mean, shoot him anyway, though? No matter what, and Damn. also take away his shotgun, please. Usually had me going there. <sighs> okay, idiot. Yeah, double shotguns. I'll take it. I guess that's where you would get it if you hadn't found the the secret shotgun. So what is this now? Infiltrating Natla headquarters. Sure enough. Hmm. No one's home. I mean, it seems to be pretty late at night, so no surprise there, I guess. Nice bonsai. <laughs> nice Windows 95. Looks like our girls pulled it off. 
Of course she has. Now it's up to you. Not that I'm complaining, boss, but what makes you so sure she's not gonna bring it back herself? Lara would never part with the Skion. She's far too obsessed with it, just like her father. Ah, Monsieur Dupont. <laughs> Monsieur. You have something to report? Good news, madame. Your information was correct. I have located my piece of the Skion. Voila! It is buried under a place called... Um. St. Francis Folly. Okay. I was gonna say, she probably knows that place because, you know, obviously an archaeologist uh, of her stature knows every single archaeological site on the entire planet by heart. Right, okay, that's that. Replay level. Oh, okay, that unlocked the replay level. I had been wondering. Yes. Alright. I've acquired new evidence I mean, that leads me to believe. It is the Skion itself that is in some strange way a vast library of information to rival even Alexandria. I am now convinced that if I can obtain it, I will finally discover what happened to my beloved Amelia. What is that there? Oh, just remains of some sort of campsite. <sighs> People littering Pierre, everywhere. Yeah. You're gonna pay for that, if nothing else. Oh, what? And it just drops us, drops us right inside. I was kind of looking forward to exploring outside there for a little bit, but... I mean, not now, of course, because we just beat that level. Um, I just didn't really get any chance to take a break here. Oh, wow. Six artifacts, no relics. Hmm. Well, and it was in Greece, apparently. Interesting. Well, uh, we just saved the game, so I'm just gonna quit... And take a look at uh, rewards. Did we get another outfit? We did not. Oh, never mind then. Character bios? Larson? I mean, I, I guess I'm gonna briefly look at these, so if you are interested, you can uh, pause and read them. I'm not going to read all of this extra material out loud. Cinematics. Okay, interesting. I wonder what the, what the other special is going to be. Maybe that's going to be some kind of thank you for beating the game. That wouldn't make sense. Uh, these art galleries are actually kind of nice. There are some, well, I mean, these are very classic Tomb Raider artworks. Maybe not that great. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the one. I mean, I again, I played all the Tomb Raiders from starting with the first one. Uh, both on PC. Back then, it was kind of the common family PC, not my own PC. Um, and also later on PlayStation, which we didn't actually get uh, when it was new. We kind of got that later. We we were a Nintendo family <laughs> back then. Um, yeah, but uh, Tomb Raider 4, The Last Revelation, right? That's what it's called. That's the first one of the first PC games that I remember buying, and I definitely played that on my very own computer in my own room. That was, you know, definitely special back then. Uh, Tomb Raider Chronicles. I mean, I think I played this at some point, and I definitely never played this. I read the reviews, and they were so uh, damning. I guess they were. I don't know what exactly was wrong with the game. It was very bug-ridden, and I think there were also other things wrong with it. Maybe I should play it sometime just to see how bad it really is. Then yeah, and this is the one that I played before this game. A decent game, definitely, but you know, I th I find like I find that this one here, anniversary is vastly superior in every way. Ah uh, yes, it's some <laughs> oh that guy. <laughs> this is some seriously nice artwork. I like it. Mhm. Mm yeah, <laughs> that guy. Not bad at all. Yep. Well, I mean, it actually looked more impressive in the game. Some nice stuff. Uh, relics, yep. Nothing new. Oh, pet theme. Bear theme. Raptor theme. Interesting. Okay. Oh, Peru. Wait. So what's the first one going to be? Is that... Um, also, I, I cannot actually access this. Huh. Interesting. Oh, well. Um, I wonder if the first one is for uh, beating the, the mansion. Uh, the manor. Maybe I'm going to do that next before heading into the next real level. I don't know, I mean, it, it's kind of a, a side thing. 
that doesn't really fit anywhere in the storyline, so I might as well do it whenever. I didn't want to start with it, but I also don't don't want to end the series with it, so I guess I might as well do it after the first level before I head into into uh, Saint Francis Folly for real. Uh, for the time being, I'm gonna end this episode. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.